My grandpa, Papa, was a pathologist. He wanted to be a surgeon, but he was deathly allergic to a cat he was dissecting in medical school, and leaving the room from anaphylactic shock disqualified him from the program. I wanted to be a doctor too for a while. I liked the idea of helping people to get better. And though I traveled down the path of silicon and circuits, when I open up an electronic to fix it, it's like I'm a surgeon. We're not so different from these things. There's power from burning sugars and fats. There's diodes, the valves in our hearts. And there's resistors like the plaque in our arteries. My computer was sick. Its heart was giving out and it needed a transplant. When I was younger, I used to take apart whatever broken tech I could. I once disassembled and reassembled my parents' bathroom radio without telling them. I think I lost one of the screws, but I don't think they ever found out. When I got this MacBook Air for college about five and a half years ago, I got the thing tricked out as much as I could. i7 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD, and I loved it. And guess what? I still love it. Sure, it only has dual core, and the integrated Intel graphics are pretty terrible, but this thing has been through hell and back with me, through a pretty strenuous course load. The only thing is, the battery is starting to give out. Tim Cook recently said that phone repairs were cutting into the bottom line of Apple's sales of the new products. This isn't great for Apple's shareholders, and the shareholders seem to be the only people that companies care about these days. With things like planned obsolescence, the overabundance of plastic parts rather than metal, and refusal of repair, products today are more of a subscription service than a material good. The thing is, what I'm fixing right now is something that's near and dear to me. Something I'm not ready to give up yet, because I just don't see the point in an upgrade. For 90 bucks, I can get a brand new battery that I can slap in and my laptop will be just as good as the day I got it. Like Steve Wozniak said, the iPhone 8 is the iPhone 7 is the iPhone 6 is the iPhone 5. Why should we have our wallets pillaged for some new shiny thing that only has a few bells and whistles added? And not only is this new thing more expensive, it simultaneously has core functionalities gutted for stupid and selfish reasons. You don't get someone to buy something new by crossing your fingers and hoping that their old product breaks and that they have no way to fix it. That just pisses them off and makes them wonder why they ever spent money on your product or trusted your company to begin with. You sell product by making what you make so damn good that people drop their current device on the floor and shove their money into your hand. At least that's what Apple used to be. So screw Apple. I'm gonna fix this computer until it literally catches fire. You didn't lend me this laptop, I bought it and I can use it however I damn well please. Right to repair is happening for the same reason that piracy happens. When someone wants something, but roadblocks are put in their path, they'll make another path. If this company says they don't want to do repairs since they're inconvenient or hurting their sales, or some other BS excuse where they won't fix something of mine for a reasonable price, and my only option is to toss my tech in the dumpster and buy a new product from them that's barely better than what I have, that I'm also going to have to toss in a dumpster in three years, I'm going to fix it myself. As a side note, yeah, I do know that Apple does battery replacements for this computer, but I can do it cheaper, I don't have to wait to get it done, and I don't have to fork out money to a company that's bitter that I'm still using something they made years ago.